Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler, and this More League Boys basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We're in J-Town for some Monday night hoops. Battle of the Ave. Long Beach Poly is in town. The Panthers really put a scare into Lakewood last week and trying to do the same against another top team in the league. Dennis Redmond leading the Panthers. Meanwhile, Long Beach Poly looking to stay unbeaten in more league play and claim another league title. Senior Chris Watson looking to help the boys get there. And it was terrific ball movement from the Jackrabbits as we see back-to-back -back three balls from Giovanni Ruff. Uh, Giovanni's shot makes the rough look like the fairway as he buries a couple from long range. Polly's cooking early, then Buddha from the corner. Polly assisted on nine of their first 10 made field goals and led 14 to 1 out of the gate. Jordan would finally get some buckets to fall from their freshman, Davion Chisholm for three. Then Jamari Redmond is going to pull up and hit the midi. But again, Polly sharing it so well. Rough drives baseline, dishes to Daniel Hardy for the deuce. Then look how quickly they turn a rebound into an open look. Four different guys are going to touch the basketball, and Chris Watson will dial one up from long distance. That's beautifully done. Then off of the steal, Watson going to take it all the way to the cup for two more. He had 14 points in the second quarter alone on his way to a game-high 27. And again, the ball moving quickly finds Ruff in the corner. He made his first four three-point shots in this one. Jordan, meanwhile, did get a couple three balls from Jerome Wilson to try to keep things close. And then Chisholm going to spin and score another talented ninth grader in this ball game. But uh, the Panthers' pressure just couldn't get to Polly's starting five. Watch everyone touch the ball here. There were only two dribbles, and it leads to three points as Gabe Cummings gets a wide open look for the splashdown. Then Watson going to muscle in two more, really focused on driving the lane in this ball game. Then Dennis Redmond on the other side, a corner three. He had a team high 15 points, just trying to keep Jordan in the game. It was 49-32 Jackrabbits as we go into halftime. Polly put the pedal down in the third. Chris Swatson with the rejection. Then Ruff bringing it the other way. The diaper dandy with the pull up. Jackrabbits tough to stop when those two are in sync, and uh, they were definitely in sync tonight. Then 3-Watt going to connect from deep, as I mentioned, had 27. Then on the run out, Ruff for the easy slam. The freshman had 20 points as Polly led by as many as 31 in the fourth quarter, but that Jackrabbit reserves struggled against the press. Gerald Pickens gets the steal and the lay. Then Jamari Redmond going to step into a three ball. He had 10 points as Jordan was just starting to chip away, just slow and steady, getting some takeaways, hitting some shots. Then Javon Brown going to drive for the and one. Jordan went on a 20 to two run to cut the lead to 13 with two minutes left. At that point, Shelton Diggs had seen enough. Starting five back in the game. First possession, Watson to Cummings for the three and the dagger as Polly wins at 81-65. Jordan going to host Milliken on Wednesday. Polly's at Cabrillo on Wednesday, then visits Lakewood in what will be a showdown for the Moore League title. We will definitely be there for that one with a lot of stakes between the Jackrabbits and the Lancers. It was an overtime game in round one. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to keep up with the rest of Moore League basketball and all sports in Long Beach, you got to stay locked right here at the 562.org.